Phase change unit lesson 4.1, introducing the liquid oxygen problem. Activity two, annotating the liquid oxygen machine. Science seminar sequence. Lesson one, investigate why the liquid oxygen machine isn't working properly and learn about the proper functioning of the machine. Lesson two, analyze evidence that might help you determine why the machine is malfunctioning. Lesson three, participate in the science seminar to share your ideas about the evidence and debate what might have caused the malfunction. Lesson four, write an explanation. Explain how your evidence supports or a future claim about why the machine isn't working. We'll be investigating this question over the next four lessons. Why is the liquid oxygen machine producing less liquid oxygen than normal? We will begin by familiarizing ourselves with the proper functioning of the liquid oxygen machine. The machine separates out and condenses oxygen for other gases in the air. This process requires passing the substance through three tanks with different temperatures. Let's look at it in closer detail. Water, oxygen, and nitrogen gas are all present in the air. Water, oxygen, and nitrogen gas enter the liquid oxygen tank through tank number one. Air containing mostly nitrogen, oxygen, and water vapor enters the liquid oxygen machine. Liquid flows out of the pipes at the bottom of the tank. The tank is cooled and water is drained away. And the tank is warmed a little, allowing the nitrogen to evaporate and the liquid oxygen to stay behind. Gases escape through the pipes at the top. What could be causing the machine to malfunction? You will use your understanding of attraction and kinetic energy to annotate the liquid oxygen machine diagram and explain why phase changes either occurred or didn't occur in three different parts of the liquid oxygen machine. First, I'll show you some example annotations. I'll start by reading a question I have about tank one. Why did the water condense in the first tank when the oxygen and nitrogen did not? The decrease in temperature tells us about kinetic energy. I'll write this now. Decrease in temperature equals decrease in kinetic energy. Water has a strong molecular attraction. This answers my original question, so I'll record it. Water has a stronger attraction than oxygen and nitrogen. Kinetic energy and molecular attraction both affect these changes. I'll add to my answer. Enough kinetic energy was removed from molecular attraction to pull the water molecules together. However, not enough kinetic energy was removed for the molecular attraction to pull the nitrogen or oxygen molecules together. Now you will each annotate your own copy of the liquid oxygen machine diagram. You can record notes directly on the diagram or on the table below. Open the liquid oxygen article. Read the first two sentences of paragraph seven. In the first tank, scientists decrease the temperature enough to condense the water into a liquid. That is, they decrease the kinetic energy of the molecule so the attraction between them can pull the molecules together. The liquid water that forms in the first tank is drained away. Notice the questions you should consider when annotating the diagram that are on your student's screen. Take about 10 minutes to annotate tanks two and three on your sheets. How did you annotate tanks two and three? End of activity.